Well, in another, uh, a bit of a roller coaster game the other night. Um, it probably felt like a defeat rather than a draw, did it? Yeah, I think I think emotionally straight after the game, you do feel like that because you two nil up, and you, you should never really uh, drop points when you two nil up. It's it's about seeing the game through and managing the game. Um, I haven't looked at the game back. I don't think my my opinions changed on it really. I think for sixty nine minutes we're in total control of the game and really good away performance against the team who 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 picked up a little bit of form recently. You know the bottom of the league and this with Sammy we should be going there and beating them. Of course we should. We always have that mentality, but the recent form has picked up a little bit. So we knew that every game in League Two is going to be a challenge, and I thought we approached the game really well. Started the game well, took control early on, and. Created a few chances, and I think we more than warranted going two 0 up. Mm. But, are, are these the sort of games we talk a lot about game management? Is that where the players learn more actually from from what happened there? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I think I spoke after the game about managing situations in games, and um, there's no secret to what we've done as a club in recruitment wise. We, we've um, we've recruited um, younger players this season who've got really good futures ahead of them, and. With that comes a little bit of of uh, youthfulness, naivety at times, and not understanding that moments in games and games management. So that will come. It's, it's our job as staff to help them learn them situations, and we worked with them again today about recognizing them moments and dealing with them moments better. And the more experience they get, they'll, they'll get better at that. And even though you might learn from that situation, you also have to take the positives from from getting to 2 nil up in the game in the first place and use those as a, a good way to go into the next one. Yeah, it is. Like I say, once the game's over, we always watch the game back and, and try and strip the emotion out of the game. Um, it doesn't. I haven't changed the fact that we're disappointed we haven't won the game. Like you say, I still go to say we lost the game. I keep saying, but we haven't. But we still feel like we've lost it. And, and what's good is the players have come in and, and they feel like they've lost the game. So that should be the mentality of a Tramia player. Um but they're all eager to learn. They're all eager to listen. Everyone wants to improve. We've gone through a little, like you just said, we've gone through the things that we can improve on, which was the game management side of it and how we can deal with them situations better. But we've also gone through the first 69 minutes and plucked out a load of positive things and the way we're playing, how we're getting into the final third, how we can create more goal scoring opportunities once we're there. But there were some positives of the game. And uh, you've had a lot of injuries to contend with, oh. Ian. Just, just a bit. And you were telling us last week about Chris Merry's injury. Um, has anything improved over the last few days in terms of the other players? No, um, I think. Uh, I think in all the years of being in football, I think this has been the worst injury hit season we've had. And we, myself and even the gaffer previous, is, uh, we've never really gone on and on about it because we don't want to feel like there's the excuse mentality. But the fact is, is, it, is it's there. Is that we have now got eleven players out injured and of which of them where Logan Chalmers is the most recent one we need to assess him to see whether he's going to be out for the remainder of the season or whether it's going to be a week or so but other than them the rest are going to be out for the remainder of the season and that's what we've got we had five players on the bench on Tuesday evening um, and we don't moan about it we crack on and we, we're still trying to every two a man to the players they're all giving 100% and Anyone who doubts that, I'll I'll take the time to show them the running data. The running data in the games has been unbelievable. So if anyone doubts that they're not running for the club and for the fans, then then it's it's not there. It's not true at all. You can see that in them, and they're trying to do their utmost. And and credit to the players, the credit the players could even feel sorry for themselves looking at the injuries and mope and talk about it, but they're not. They're coming in every day, trying to improve, trying to get better, trying to get as many points as they can for the club. And the ones that that you do have. Uh able to, to play and, and are fit, it's a chance for them, isn't it, to to show what they can do? That's oh, a massive chance. You look at um you look at the team from Tuesday night, we've got JT and a cook who's come on loan from Newcastle and he's probably only making this as a this third appearance, a league appearance. You've got Reese Hughes who's we signed at the start of the season. He's been on out on loan to Chester and he's come back to us and he's making an appearance and with all the, the injuries comes opportunity. So some of these players are getting the opportunity they might not have had previous and they've got to earn the right now to to play and keep the position and keep trying to pick up maximum points for the club. And one bright thing for you at the moment is Harvey Saunders, who's uh, got you the penalty the other night and has started to score goals as well after a bit of a um, a slow start to his tram career. But he feels does he feel like he's sort of found his feet now? 
Yeah, I think I said it. Um, I think with Harvey, I think I said it um, early on when he wasn't scoring that the same players you look at and you you go, you, you worry for them and you go, oh, I don't know whether he's going to score. It was different with Harvey. You could see the work he puts in, and I know I know the fans and everyone just see the work he puts in on the game, which is unbelievable. By the way, like I say, the running data and the GPS is through the roof on him. And um, but it's not just that; it's the work he puts in through the week of getting better and improving. And there was never any doubt in my mind that once he'd score goals, he continues to score goals. And I think, I think in every game he looks he looks a threat. He's he's either threatening them with his pace in behind and causing problems, or he's having shots, or. He's, uh, he's he's creating opportunities. I think he had one on Tuesday night where a cross come in and he slid for it and he's just marginally away from another goal. And like I say, he's one of them players that he he, he drives things from the front. Hmm. And you've got Grimsby now. Looking at the table, they're just uh, next to you in the in the table. And you played a Rochdale side who are fighting for the lives of the the other end of the table. Does 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 the league positions make any difference to the the difficulty of the game at this stage? I think in League Two, um, I think I think I've mentioned before is our 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 Achilles heel this season has been our inconsistency, inconsistency within games and and even from game to game. But I think if you look across the board in League Two, it's very inconsistent. I think anyone, any team on any given day can beat anybody because of the inconsistency. So I think whenever it is in the league, whatever stage it's early, mid, late in the league, I don't think you can ever really judge a team by where they are, the position in the league. Um, we always watch games leading into games and there's games we'll watch teams and we'll think, oh, they're this, and then we'll watch the other games and it's sometimes the team's unrecognisable because of the inconsistencies. But what what we've got to do is make sure our approach is right, we're prepared for the game and, and we're going to win the game again for the, for each other and the fans. 